Hello everyone, so in this playlist, we'll talk about the using the Hydrococo IM brush, learning about surface noise, learning about morph target, morph brush, very, very useful. And then also about how to frame the mesh. There's also some bonus about the interface colors, but uh, yeah, that's just a bonus. So, right, let's get started. So I'll click on the first link, and then uh, we'll talk about how to use the Rococo brush to create uh, ornaments on a shield. So I'll give you the tell you how to create uh, something like this at the end of this uh, playlist. And then uh, we'll start off with a very basic shield. So we can just keep building on it. Okay. So uh, one thing to take note, the interface is a little bit different because um, when I took this uh, screenshot is two years ago. So my interface for two years ago is a little bit different. Uh, but the I don't think it's a big issue. I believe you will be still able to understand some of the terms like spring and mass points and uh, maybe whatever that is required. Okay, so uh, just take, take note of that. All right, so uh, let's get started. Okay, on our light box, this is our default light box. When you open up light box, you will be in the project scene, right? You'll be in the project scene. So I want you guys to go to the tool scene, go to tool, and then I double click on shoe with uh, Alfred's name on it, shoe Alfred. Okay, so do you get this tool when you uh, when you copy over all my settings, including my interface. So you should be able to follow and have this uh, base shoe to start with. All right, so we double click on the shoe, and then we close the light box. We realize that we still doesn't have anything on our scene, although the tool is already being loaded. So what's happening here? We need to go into the edit mode. All right. So if you are still not familiar with the edit mode, okay, you're still doing this and you don't know what to do, please just press edit, go into edit mode, press control N to clear off all the additional pieces, press F to focus on your shield. Okay, that's all you need to do. Nothing to be afraid about the edit mode. If you ever got out of it, uh, you will end up in this scene, just press control N. The last one you drag out, go in, back in to edit mode. Press F to focus and uh, orientate yourself. All right. If you still doesn't get it, okay, please open the project. Just open a sphere. So by having a sphere, what's good about sphere is that it creates a edit mode for you. So you will already be in the edit mode. All right. So you already be in the edit mode, then you can jump into the shoe. So we will load up the shoe. Then you will already be in edit mode. Okay, so I hope this uh, helps you understand better. Okay, so now we have this uh, plain shield. I'm gonna off my perspective distortion and I'll click on my brushes. I'm gonna select Rococo brush. If you cannot find it, press R on your keyboard. You will find uh, all the brushes starting with the R alphabet. Okay, press R. So under this uh, Rococo brush, we have all these uh, different tools that we can insert into our shoe. Okay, so the ones I like is, uh, let me show you. When I press M, I can have uh, this menu over here. Uh, I like number 24, 28, uh, maybe 17. I like, I like this view as well. Okay, so, so just pick uh, whatever you like. Oh, and then uh, put into your scene. And uh, I do think this view is more pretty than the rest. And then uh, it helps us to create this kind of ornaments that is, looks like very royal, looks like a royal family or background or knights. You can use uh, some of this for part of the design. So maybe when we finish designing this shoe, it will look more like a knight, knight shoe. All right. So I'll use uh, number three first. My uh, symmetry is on. I press X and then I'll press the uh, symmetry to be default on the x-axis. In case it's not default on the x-axis, please uh, change it to the x-axis, all right? So x-symmetry. Okay, so I'll create a IM brush. Once I create an IM brush, I need to split it out. So we'll split it out so that we have control of it in a separate sub-tool, then we can move it around. Uh, when we position it, we want it to be tight and uh, kind of make sense to the shield 
wherever the shield is. Uh, you saw me uh, alternate and left click on this reset orientation just now to reset my orientation. You should have learned that last week as well. Okay, so press number four. I use my snake hook. I can push it in and I can have this sort of design here. So maybe I want some parts to be submerged inside and then I want some parts of the design to be more protruding on the outside. So it really depends on you, but I like it this way. If I position my pivot to the head and if I were to scale this, okay, it will be scaled towards the head. Okay, so that's the difference. So uh, it can be something that you use to your advantage as well. Don't put your design too big, okay? Make sure the shape is just nice over here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Jump back to my main body of the shoe. Okay, actually let me examine this shoe together with you. We have three parts. Huh? So we start off the shoe with the outer layer, the main body of the shoe, and then there's a back part, which is kind of like the handle of the shoe. All right, so with the I'll just always start with the main body. Okay, so when we create the iron on, on the main body, it will make a lot more sense. Okay, go back to my Rococo brush. Maybe I want to use number 24. Press X on the keyboard so that uh, I don't have symmetry. And then I'll just drag it out. So I think it looks fine to me. I'll split a mass points and then I'll use this. On back my symmetry, I'll just push it in, push it out a bit. You know, want it to fit a little bit better to the center part of the shoe. Okay, you can also do other designs now, huh? but uh, of course, um, trying to make it pretty. So go back to my main body. I'll create another design once again. Press R. Oops, click on the wrong one. Press R. Uh, maybe pressing M is easier for me to browse around. Okay, I'll use Curve Brush 2 this time. Shape is good, but I don't have symmetry on. Press X for symmetry. Yeah, looks pretty neat. I like the position, I like everything. Speed and mass points. There we go. Alternate left click to jump to that uh, sub 2. I'm a 4 brush. Snake hook it. So I'm still deciding which part I want it to be protruding, which part I want it to be uh, just beneath the design. So I think uh, I think I'll just stick it inside the design for now. All right. Try to make it have some overlap. Actually, actually, I think a little bit of overlap is fine. I also don't want too much. Alfred is a bit giddy today. Alright, so I think uh, that's fine for me. So take note, all my objects are separate to, to different sub tools. Alright, so go back to my main body. Press uh, B for brush. Go to Rococo set brush. Press M to choose. La, 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 la. Okay, I'll choose this one again. Uh, the, the shape of this one is just nice. Lah, huh? I like this thing. Look at this. No matter where I place it, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I, I somehow I'm okay with that position. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. Okay, so so what I envision is I'm gonna sneak hook here. Yeah, that's what I want. And uh, I'm gonna push this down. You know, the fun part is Every time you create an iron brush, you think you are very limited to its shape, but the fact is you, your snake hook brush can change its shape so much, right? We have so much control over all these designs. We have them in different pieces. We can do all the overlaps. Yeah, there's really a lot of control to make these different designs look good. You know, so, so there's endless possibilities of creating endless designs. So if you look at my PDF, I have a different design too, you know, so, so if you look at the PDF, it's quite different. This and this. Okay, so every time you might end up with something a little bit different. 
Okay, so yeah, I don't think I need too much designs at this point. Maybe something, maybe something at the bottom. Just fill it up one more. Okay. Uh, let's use twenty-eight. Twenty-eight haven't been used yet, so just have something small at the bottom. Try go this way. Let me try again. Okay, I kind of like this better. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Speed our mass points, alternate left click, jump to this sub 2, snake hook, best friend. So it's kind of like move brush, so just kind of move all things around. Yeah, there we go. Exactly where I want it to be, just Tiny bit of overlap. Uh, see if I can let it make more sense. Because that's this part over here. Okay, that will make more sense for sure. I want the top part to rest in a little bit more so it makes more sense. Same part. And I want the outside part to push out more. Okay, so so take note to go to your side view to have a look at your design as well because sometimes it may look good on the front view, but if your side view doesn't make any sense, then that is actually not good. All right, so actually I want this to be even smaller and take note of the size guys uh, some people tend to overdo it make the uh, ornaments very big okay less is more okay less is more you don't need too much ornaments and I think that's the end of this video we are finished with uh, putting some ornaments I'll see you in the next step all right bye bye